Hey everyone, welcome. Today I have a comparison between the Chanel rectangular mini flat bag and the new small vanity bag with a classic chain that I recently purchased. I actually recently purchased both of them, but one is new new and one is new for me because it was pre-owned. But in any case, I'd love to give a shout out to my subscriber, Pia Rafter Bags and Style, and I really hope I am not slaughtering that name. Okay, Pia, I love you for suggesting this, and um, so I'd like to do it, and I love you guys for tuning in. So let's get started. Firstly, we're gonna be comparing the mini flat bag and this mini flat bag, of course, comes in a variety of colors and finishes for the hardware, different types of leather and different chains. I mean, it's just a bag that has been done in so many different ways over the years. The piece is a classic. Of course, it is part of the classic collection. Now, this bag, which is my new small, I think it's called the Small Vanity with the Classic Chain, which we all, I mean, we all love. We love Chanel, we love the Classic Chain. And she is a new piece that is only available right now, as far as I know, and I'm sure they're gonna release it if it's very popular again, but it's in the caviar leather. She does come in multiple colors, but it is in the quilted pattern with the champagne gold, which I think goes a little towards the more gold gold hardware. Um, the chain, as you can see, and I know it's moving around, so let's see if I can stabilize it for you. So the chain on the vanity is a much more delicate piece. It's much thinner than the chain on the mini flap. So I just wanna point that out. In terms of the bag itself, there is no, on the mini vanity here, you do not, ooh, excuse me. You do not see anything, there's no pocket in the back. On the classic flaps, I'm trying to juggle these bags. On the classic flap, you do have the Mona Lisa smile pocket on the back. And this pocket is, is so cute, I love it, but really it just holds a very little bit, so it's not, significant in terms of the actual bag, but it is a cute style of the piece. Let's look inside. So this bag is inside, it's all leather. It has a zip pocket and a flat pocket, okay? So that's, it's a very simple interior. Now in terms of measurements, this bag is eight inches wide. It is three inches in its width across, and the height is five inches. The small vanity, on the other hand, is about six and a half inches wide here, three inches in width, so it's the same as the mini flap, but the height is only four inches. But you'd think, because it's smaller, it wouldn't hold as much, but we're gonna look at what fits in a minute. So the color in here, I love it. It's the classic burgundy Chanel color. It has got a fabric lining instead of leather. It has three card slots and it's got this really cute lipstick holder as well. Let's look at what fits. So I brought a couple of things that I take with me when I'm running out. Nothing major, but the minimum that I wanna take when I'm taking a small bag. Of course, a phone. This is my husband's, it's a Samsung Galaxy S10, and it fits right inside very well. Next thing I wanna take, because I'm not taking another card case or a coin holder, but I still need my keys and I'd like to have somewhere to put coins, I'm gonna take this Louis Vuitton coin pouch that has a key holder inside, and I'm gonna put that in as well. Then I'm gonna put in some tissues, and I have a Chanel compact mirror, okay? A little pen, some sanitizer, and then last, I'm gonna put in my Hermes lipstick in the little lipstick holder. So you can see everything fits really well and it holds all the essentials. Then when I close it, zip it around, you see there's no bulging, everything looks great. So now let's see what fits in the rectangular mini. So I'm gonna take it out of here and let's open her up. 
I'm gonna try to hold her open so you can see. So of course we're gonna start again with the same Samsung Galaxy S10 phone. That's going in the front. Take some tissues, we're gonna put that in. Take my compact mirror, my sanitizer, my little key pouch. Okay, I'm gonna stick that in. I've got a little pen. And then lastly, my lipstick. So I'm gonna put that in the side. So as you can see, that holds everything as well. I think that the lipstick holder for me really is a lovely feature in terms of organizing so that the lipstick doesn't roll around. But you can see in the mini flap, it really doesn't have a lot of place to go. And as far as closing it, let's just close her up. No bulging, She's everything fits perfectly. So it's really great. So here you have two different bags and they're in two different, completely different styles, but they still hold the same amount. So what are we talking about in terms of cost? Unfortunately, in terms of cost, there is a huge difference. I think mostly part of the difference is due to the fact that this is really, the vanity case is really considered an SLG, which is a small leather good. It doesn't, Chanel doesn't market this piece as a bag, but of course it can be used as one. This one is $1,550 currently on the market right now. And this actually increased when it first came out, it was only $1,500. This bag, which is the Chanel classic flap, mini flap, rectangular shot size, this currently retails for about $3,800. Now this piece has gone up in value. It has, of course, the price increases. The last time I think it was on when I, First, I didn't buy this new, but when this was purchased, I think it was probably around 3,000. Then it went up to 3,500. So leave it to Chanel. She's gonna keep raising the prices on the bags. But this one, you have, I think a, this is part of the classic collection and it is a classic piece and it comes in so many different uh, options that, it, and it's a little easier to get your hands on something like this. Now, in terms of what I think, which bag is better? I love them both. Um, I think in terms of what it is that you're looking for is where you need to, to focus. If you have the money and you wanna make an investment in a first classic Chanel bag that doesn't break the bank, but you know will go up in value, have versatility, then I think the mini flap is the way to go. Now, if you can find her, this piece gives you a great deal for your money. It's a great value for your money. So if you can find this piece, I would definitely recommend it. It is a beautiful piece. You will get a lot of use out of her. And she of course has the classic Chanel style, which is awesome. So I can not say that I would like to pick one over the other, but if money wasn't an object, I probably would go for the mini rectangular. If money is a concern right now, and you really want a piece from Chanel, and that can be both considered a bag or an SLG, this guy is your is this guy is the one to try to find. Um, and I just love the versatility. I will leave links to my unboxing of this bag and of the mini rectangular in the description box below. Please check them out. And of course, please subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, a comment. I'd love to know what you'd like to see next. My channel is all about luxury, limited editions, beauty, anything that has to do with jewelry. I love those things. So I want to share that with my audience. All right, guys. I love you all. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time. Bye.